Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I hope you all are doing great. In this session, we will be continuing with our bioinformatics session and going to learn something very simple yet very useful, especially for biotech, biology and bioinformatics student and researcher. I will be doing practical demo as well. So let's get started with this quick guided tutorial. Sequence massager is very simple yet quite useful for many daily lab purpose, both in wet lab and dry lab. As in biology, especially molecular biology, biotech, genetics, bioinformatics, we have to convert DNA to RNA, RNA to DNA, and sometimes we require to convert sense stand to antisense, invert it to complementary stand, and so on. So for different experimental purpose in wet lab and for different analysis in your dry lab, you require sequence massager. It's very simple and it will be very useful for your daily purpose, especially in the laboratory. So this is a sequence massager page. Yeah, if you are a beginner, you haven't used this platform and tool earlier, then you kindly uh, use this URL. I will put this link in the description section also. So first come to this page of Sequence Massager. As I mentioned, you can utilize this tool for your diverse application and addition purpose, like conversion of DNA to RNA, RNA to DNA. You can convert the inverted stand, sense stand. You can make them complementary stand. And many a times, especially in bioinformatics, we also require to remove the white spaces, the link breaks and numbers. All those tasks can be performed here. So for your daily bioinformatics, molecular biology, biotechnology experimentation, you can utilize this tool. The sequence massager is divided into actually top panel and uh, bottom panel, and you can perform several tasks. So either you can remove the lines, feed, white blank spaces and all these things. So these tasks you can perform here. If you want to convert the things like DNA to RNA or inverted uh, sense and antisense conversion and complementary thing, then these tasks you can convert here. So you have to provide the sequence here and result you will get here. Similarly, for your oligonucleotide and nucleic acids, if you want to convert them like uppercase to lowercase, those tasks also can be done. So let's perform one demo over here. I will be showing you how you can perform these simple addition and tasks. So let's go to that page. So this is the sequence massager page. When you will open this page, you will find several options over here, such as on top panel, you will get a lot of options to either remove the line feeds, the number and the blank spaces. And in the down panel, you will get the options to convert your DNA to RNA, RNA to DNA. You can convert your sequences and complementary sequence conversion and so on. So let's take a few uh, samples over here and then practice. So see, uh, these are few of my samples, DNA samples. If suppose for your purpose, you can convert them manually to RNA. But in biology and biotech section, most of the time, the gene size are very huge. They are very long, sometimes 13 KB, 19 KB, and you have to convert these things, DNA to RNA. So not every time it is feasible to do these tasks manually. So sequence massager and uh, tools like this are really very useful. So suppose these, this is my DNA. If I have to convert them into the RNA, then I have to paste my sequence here. And then I have to click DNA to RNA. So here in the result section, you will get your DNA converted into RNA. So this RNA you can utilize for your uh, different purpose. Similarly, if you want this uh, DNA to be converted into the complementary strand, that also can be done here. Similarly, if you want to duplicate or you want to invert these things because the gene is like 5 dash to 3 dash sometimes your significance uh, sequences are from 3 dash to 5 dash so if you want to invert them that is also feasible from here suppose uh, you you have got your sequencing result many a time we get sequences result in a plain format 
Many a time the sequencing company will provide you sequences in this form where they mention the numbers also and then they provide some space and blank. So you get the idea that, okay, this is uh, 10 sequence, this is 20. So you get the ideas about your sequence. If suppose in your sequences, you want to remove these number because they will hamper your further analysis. So it's better to remove your line, uh, line breaks and these numbers. So what we can do, you just have to go to sequence massager. You have to paste your sequences. And if you want to remove this numbers and spaces, then we have to go to remove section and we have to click numbers. We can remove, we can remove the blank spaces. And this line feeds because these uh, we don't want in our further analysis. So this also can be removed. So now you will get the plain sequences for your further analysis because these are these line break, these white blank spaces. We don't see them, but for computer, for bioinformatic analysis, they will hamper the further analysis. So it's better to remove all these things. So you can edit your sequences you can clean them prior to your analysis and for your i hope you have liked the session and learned how to use this tool for your analysis and research purpose if you have liked the session and found this tool relevant then kindly like subscribe and do share this video among your scientific endeavor thank you so much